In this lesson, I will explain to you how to customize the ribbon and how to add a new tab. See here, you can see we have a home tab, insert tab, which we had discussed so many times. These are called the tabs and each tab has different functions, which is called ribbon. Now, if you want to make your new tab or your own tab, yes, you can create what you have to do right click on this ribbon anywhere and then customize the ribbon click here see the last the last column will show us that these are the tabs we have home tab insert tab page layout and so on if you will click on this plus sign then you can see we have these different groups under the home tab clipboard group, font group, alignment, and so on. Again, here you can see the plus sign. If you will open this plus sign, then it will show you what functions you have in the font group. Clipboard group will show you what function you have in your clipboard group. So in this way, you can check. But now we are learning how to add a new tab. First of all, you have to decide where you have to add a new tab. If you will say, see here, the last one is the help tab. If you want to add here at the, at the end of this help, then you have to select help. But I will show you if you want anywhere. Suppose if you want to add between the formulas tab and the data tab. So you have to select the formulas right and then you have to click on new tab when you will click on your new tab you will see that new tab and then new group two options are there first of all we are going to change the name new tab how you will change the new tab just right click first you have to select right click and then rename i say this is just practice the name of this tab is practice and see now the tab name is practice and the new group so what name you want to give to your group one way is right click and rename right then you can write down whatever name second method is just like this and here you can see rename option is there click the rename option suppose i will say this is saima right my group name is saima and then okay and then now what features you want to add or what functions you want to add in this group i said fill color so fill color and then add it and then i said font size click on the font size and add it format painter click on the format painter this is the very easy way that you have to click add automatically it will appear here but the second method is select the format painter press and hold your mouse and bring it here you can drag it here right after that okay see now we have a new tab called practice between formulas and data when you will click now you will see the name of our group is saima and we have a font size and the fill color if you want to add a new group yes you can do the same thing you have to right click customize ribbon and see here saima after saima we want to add a new group so you have to select this then new group right click and here rename so here my rename is suppose my group name is example okay and an example what features you want to add i said insert table add it if you will scroll you will see all functions are here i say save just add it right save as so you can press and hold and drag it here save as is also here and then okay now when you will click on the practice we have two groups one the name of first group is saima in saima we have fill color and font size an example group we have table save and save as if you want to delete then what you have to do again right click but it is not necessary that always you have to go first click tab sorry new tab and then right click any click 
on any tab and then right click customize the ribbon and see where is our group our group is this one practice right this is our tab and again you can see here the plus sign it means when you will click here we have two different groups we want to delete we do not want so select it and here see it is highlighted now click on the remove button and okay now our practice tab was disappear or deleted now suppose if you want to add a new group in any tab take the example of a home we have a clipboard group font group alignment group we want to add a new group here after the editing group we want to add a new group name practice so what you have to do right click customize the ribbon right and then see where is the home tab this is our home tab click here the, these are all the groups where you want to add a new group i said at the end after editing so click here and the new group and the name of the new group click on the rename or right click i said this is practice and then okay now what function you want to add i said font edit font size edit right fill color edit and okay now in the home tab we have a new group practice and in practice we have a font font size and fill color if you want to delete then what you have to do right click customize right and where is our this practice is the new one select is remove and okay it's gone so in this lesson, you have learned how to add a new tab and how to add a new group under different tabs. So I hope this lesson is clear. Please practice it. Subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.